Today guys on Beer Geek Nation, finally able to get outside and shoot a review. This has been kind of a, a nice spring surprise and beginning of March here. So I want to do something a little special. This is a brand new release from Sierra Nevada and Dollfish Head Brewing. This is their newest installment in their Life and Limb series. This is Rising Binds. It's an 8% alcohol by Lyome Imperial IPA. So they had me at Imperial IPA. Basically, they took elements from the East Coast being red fife wheat, as well as Dogfish Head's, uh, you know, their hopping regime and from the west coast they took uh, Sierra Nevada's caramel estate grown malts as well as their torpedo hopping so going to be a big hoppy beer coming at eight percent you know up there with some of the bigger double IPA so let me get someone into a glass so you guys know how it smells tastes and give you the final verdict on the dogfish Sierra Nevada rising binds all right guys so the aroma on the rising binds well, there's a big kind of berry component, maybe a strawberry, um, just kind of like a pitted fruit type of flavor. A little bit of like a melon, a honeydew or a watermelon type of flavor. Some lemon peel, a little bit of like an orange rind, maybe some like pink grapefruit juice. Nice sweet breadiness, maybe a little bit of like a toasty, uh, kind of, you know, biscuity quality to it. Yeah, just a really, really interesting smelling double IPA. All right, guys, so the taste on the Rising Binds. Cheers. Wow, yeah, I mean, plays off the aroma perfectly. A lot of sweet kind of strawberry uh, notes to this one. A little bit of apricot, a little bit of peach. Again, more of like a melon, maybe um, a watermelon or like a honeydew type of flavor. Nice malt backbone to this one. It has a big kind of mouthfeel to it. Nice, sweet kind of honey tasting malts. Again, more of a cracker or like a toast type of flavor. A little bit of a lemon peel finish on this one. Nice dry finish. There is a sweet kind of caramel complexity um, in the aftertaste. More of that strawberry kind of sweet hoppy flavors to it. It's by no means a really super intense Imperial IPA, but it has a lot of balance to it and a lot of character. It's just a really, really nice drinking beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Rising Binds from Sierra Nevada and Dogfish Head Imperial IPA, 8% available right now. Guys, I'm going to give this one a B plus. You know, there's an interesting kind of hop quality to it. It's a nice kind of berry, melony, strawberry type of flavor to it that I don't know that I've really had a prominent flavor like that in an Imperial IPA before. Nice malty backbone of this one, real kind of sweet breadiness. It's a very well-balanced beer, but, you know, for being a Sierra Nevada beer, it's not as hoppy as I would expect. For being as a dogfish head beer, it's not quite, you know, as high on the flavor scales I would expect from a dogfish head beer. It's very, very mellow and easy to drink. Um, at 8%, you don't taste that alcohol. I think I was just expecting more out of it, but what is here is really solid. So don't get me wrong, it's a really, really, almost a sipping IPA. Really nice stuff, great for this kind of weather. So with that said, getting a B plus from me, and remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.